Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakakwadash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly called God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. A lot of confusion going on right now. All right. And you Jakes out there that are in the know, that are in this truth, that, that, that follow the truth. Watch who you follow. All right. Be careful who you follow because it's a lot of confusion. All right. And we, we know that the devil, they'll tell us half truths. They won't, you know, they'll, they'll give us, you know, little nuggets here and there, but they're not going to get the, give you the whole truth. And you're going to only get the whole truth from the prophets, the men that are set up by Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, ordained to teach this truth and to prophesy and to tell our people who they are, who this devil is, the, 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 the prophecies. Okay. And, and to bring us back to our heritage, but you're going to have a lot of unbelievers out there, people that believe maybe 75% and then come with their own theories and hypothesis. And it's going to be a lot of confusion. The closer and closer we get, because you know, this devil is trying to, he wants to sow confusion. All right. He doesn't want you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up to who you are, all right? That, that's been a, a task of this devil's for, for a long time to, to, you know, to, to, you know, take you away from your heritage, all right? Uh, uh, um, you know, give you your heritage, all right? You know, you're, you're, you're black, you're Negro, you're uh, Mexican, you're, you're, you're Puerto Rican, you're Dominican. They give us all these uh, uh, bywords and proverbs, but they won't tell us who we are, all right? So you have to understand it's a lot of confusion, all right? A lot of these jakes out here, you know, they're trying to ride this whole Kyrie Kanye wave and, and the latest, and, you know, I just looked at this video, Farrakhan coming out. There's a lot of confusion out there. All right. You got, you know, Kyrie's talking about the Bible and they're talking about the Bible. And then you bring a Muslim and, and, you know, in here and it's a bunch of confusion. So if you not, if you not on, um, if you, you got to have a foundation, your foundation has to be set on this truth. All right. This is the rock. Yahweh Shai is that cornerstone. All right, uh, of this truth, Yahweh Shai is the word. So if you're not grounded in Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai, hey, you, you're you're pretty much on shaky ground right now. All right, so let me start with um, because it's a lot of it's, it's a lot of truth out there, and the thing about this truth is, it's layers to this truth. All right, and these the these 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 newcomers they don't they can't give they can't like we like to say they can't get all the meat off the bone. All right, they may tell you some truths. And then sometimes they may wing it, all right? They, they may tell you some truths, but they can't go into the scriptures and pinpoint and bring these prophecies out, bring, um, go into these details, go into the words. It's, it's the job of a prophet is not for everyone. Everyone's not a prophet. So, you, all right, if you want to understand and learn this truth, you got to study and be diligent, all right? But hey, until then, stay in your lane, all right? Let the entertainers entertain and, and, and you basketball players, hey, stay in your lane. All right. If you want to be a prophet of the Lord, hey, you have to sacrifice. You have to uh, uh, hate your life. All right. You have to, uh, um, you know, deny yourself. All right. You have to, you know, fight fight against your flesh. All right. You got to depart from this world. And a lot of our people aren't ready to do that. But like I said, it's going to be a lot of jakes out there that think they know some truth. They may know this. They may know that. They didn't watch the Hebrews, the Negroes documentary. Hey, it's deeper than that. You just can't pack compact this truth into a three hour or two hour movie. All right. This truth is, is this is our heritage. This is, uh, um, you know, this is this is this is bigger than these than these than these Jake's bringing this, uh, uh, um, you know, the truth out. All right. Bringing some truths out. This is man. This is about life and death. This is about the kingdom of heaven. This is about eternal rulership. All right. This is about our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back in, in, in his rightful seat and, and, and ruling. OK. And putting these nations under the, uh, under his feet, it's bigger than these niggas, man. So it, that a lot of Jakes don't realize that. Okay, you found out you're an Israelite. What do you do now? That's what they don't they don't realize. All right, they, hey, repent. None of them is talking about repenting, turning from their sins. Okay, they, hey, that that's the first thing you got to do once you find out you're an Israelite. Repent, turn away from sin. Okay, uh, uh, um, you know, seek knowledge. All right, seek unto the prophets. See, all right, seek the Lord's judgment. All right, so let me go right into the scriptures 
Uh, this is the book of Romans chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 3. Hey, bear with me one second real quick, real quick, so like you. I have to do something. Um, okay, this is Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? All right, so it's going to be some unbelievers out there that, that believed some of these things, okay, but they don't believe the whole truth. You don't believe the whole truth, you, you shouldn't be even speaking on it. All right, you should go back into the world, be a nigga, be, be an entertainer, you know, uh, chase your dreams because this ain't for you. There's going to be a lot of believers, uh, unbel unbelievers out there, all right, where they believe everything up to the so-called white man's devil. All right, they believe everything up to, oh, America's going to be destroyed. All right, they, they believe everything up to only Israelites to be saved. So if you got any doubt in your mind about this truth, it ain't for you. All right, you're an unbeliever. All right, the most high forbid, verse four, the most high forbid, Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so, and you have to understand there's only one truth. All right, damn, what is that scripture? Um, damn, let me see if I can find it uh, real quick. Let me just look it up on my phone. Um, there's only one truth. Um, you know, everyone wants to, you know, add this and add that. It's only one truth, okay? Let me see. Um, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. This is... Um, um, damn, bear with me one second. So like, yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. But it's basically, it's only one truth. All right. Everyone coming with their truth. And, you know, they, they, they didn't, they, they read this in a book and they, they studied this and researched this. It's only one truth. Okay. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites spoken of in the Bible, the children of the Most High and Israelite foreigners. All right. That are scattered. All right. Israel, the seed of Israel is scattered throughout all the nations. So Israel, all right. The seed of Jacob is scattered. All right, throughout all, all these nations. So it's going to have Israelites that look like Edomites, that look like Elamites, that look like Hamites. All right, Israel is going to come out of all nations, contrary to some of these groups out here that teach, oh, the Israelites are only all, all Negroes. All right, hey, Israel looks like everybody, but the majority of the Israelites are here in America. Okay, where well, we were uh, sent here to serve hardcore bondage. All right, where, uh, uh, um, um, what is it, uh, uh, Jacob and Israel, I'm not Jacob. Uh, 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 how does it go? Uh, let me grab it real quick. Bear with me. I think it's... Uh, yeah, I always thought Jeremiah 40. Uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. Hey, that's the children of Israel, which, which represents the, the northern kingdom, and the children of Judah, which represents the, the southern kingdom, uh, the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Or we were oppressed together. Where were we oppressed together? Here in Babylon the Great. All right, Babylon, which means confusion. Okay, so, hey, we're at the end of this, so don't think that this devil is not going to try to push and sow more confusion. All right, and, and the thing about this truth is, and, and you got to have spiritual discernment. All right, because you're going to hear a lot of things coming out, you know, that pertain to this truth and a lot of falsehoods that pertain to this truth. OK, but you have to have spiritual discernment to, 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 to know what's bullshit and what's truth. OK, and a lot of people don't have that. Our people aren't they, they don't think with a spiritual with a spiritual eye, with a spiritual mind. They think carnally like, if, you know, you got to show these niggas in the book. All right. That the Lord was a, 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 not a so-called white man. Or you have to, you have to, you know, they, they just won't believe it. You know, you have, you have to, sh you have to show Jake. All right. And when you, and sometimes even when you show Jake, they're not spiritual enough to, under, to, to, to receive that. Okay. This is first John four and one beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You got to try the spirit. All right. And, and it's a lot of 
when you got, it's going to have people out there, when you ask them questions, they're not going to have answers. All right. When you come to the prophets on the street, the men of GMS and the brothers that teach the likewise doctrine, and we're prepared to answer every man. We're prepared to answer any questions as pertain to salvation, as it pertains to this Bible. Okay. Whether historical questions, prophetic questions. All right. We go into it all. And every, and, and, and these, and these newcomers that, that have, you know, woken up to the fact that they're Israelites that want to teach and think they know something, they can't do that. All right. They, they don't go into words. They don't go into the etymology of words. They don't go into the history. OK, they don't go deep into the history. All right. They, they don't they, they, they don't speak of the Dark Ages and the, the Byzantine empires and the things. A lot of the history that. Is not directly written in the scriptures, but it, it, it's a, the, that this history happened during the time of the scriptures. They don't go into the, um, you know, the um, uh, uh, the different the different rulers, the different uh, uh, Caesars, okay, that, that, that's in the scriptures, all right? A lot of these, these Jakes is not, they're not going to go into that. Therefore, they're not fit to be teachers, all right? But like I said, it's going to be a lot of a lot of confusion that's going out there, and, and the devil has set up some of these guys to confuse a lot of you Jakes, all right? Because you're waking up to the fact that you're an Israelite, and you may be headed on the right path, but this devil wants to throw a curveball to take you off that path to bring you back into the world or bring bring you back into the world or bring you into some bullshit that's just going to leave you at a dead end. All right. Uh, verse two, hereby know the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of the most high. And there's a lot of people out there, Jake's, that, you know, they may come into this truth, but they may not necessarily come into the truth, but they may acquire it up to obtain some knowledge of the truth. But they may dis deny Yahweh Shai. They all say that uh, uh, this, you know, this man never walked, um, you know, on this earth. You know, it, you know, they'll say the the the, the stories and the scriptures are, are are fairy tales. There's a lot of bugged out niggas out there, all right, and a lot of niggas out there that want to sound deep, but they not, all right. So stay away from these. Hey, stay away from these people. If they're not, if they're not speaking according to this this, this doctrine, this knowledge, it's I'm about to, I'm about to grab that scripture. There's no light in them. OK, there's no light in these niggas. These niggas are, are, are dark and they're trying to uh, mimic the light. All right. You can't uh, you can't mimic this light because this light is only shining on uh, uh, um, those that are called and Lord willing that are chosen. All right. Every spirit that confesses not that the most that, that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of the most high and is and this is a spirit of Antichrist, anti Hamashiach. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. And this is many anti Hamashiachs, all right, anti Yahweh Shai's throughout the world, okay? And, and not just Esau, not just this devil Esau, um, not just Amalek, but our people, Israelites, all right, that are that that, that they say they love the Lord, but they're they doing the damn the complete opposite of what the Lord wants them to do, all right? They're antichrist, okay? Um, actually, I wanted to grab this before I grab that, but uh, it's okay. It's Jeremiah 3, and I'm going to start at 13, the points at 15. It says, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children. This is the, this is our people, Israelites, that didn't obey the Lord's voice. All right. But when he calls unto us, all right, by his prophets, all right, it's going to say, oh, turn, oh, backsliding children, save the Lord, for I am married unto you and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And those pastors are the prophets. All right. The prophets that are speaking this truth that all right, that that are not biting their tongue, all right? They're not being politically correct, all right? They're going to tell you the truth, and, 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 and that's it, all right? They're going to come in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? If you're talking to someone, and they, 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 they proclaim to know the truth, and they're not coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they don't got the truth, all right? Because the name is everything, all right? You just had um, IUIC out there in the front of Barclays, you know, uh, um, prophesying, but it's all for naught because they're not coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. It, it, it's just for show. All right. They, they just want to be seen of men. OK. In, in, in the time of, um, you know, when, when, when 
everyone's looking and everyone is is searching for truth. Oh, they just pop up at Barclays in uh, in Brooklyn and, and start prophesying, but they're not prophesying in the name of Yahweh Shimon Shai. So hey, they they don't they don't got this truth. Okay. Let me um I'm gonna grab this in the pocket for real quick. Um because our people they like to listen to Jake's that you know um have some type of uh status. All right, that 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 you know you know this nigga may speak with elegant words and you know and, and, and knows how to articulate, but the, the he the they they be talking they be full of shit, okay. But that our people adhere to that type of stuff. All right, oh that nigga talk good. This they like oh, like they like they were uh like they were um hypnotized and duped by Obama's ass. All right, just because a nigga talk good and and and, and uses big words, that don't mean he he's on a level and he's smart. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastic, excuse me, 20, chapter 27 and verse 7. Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, for this is the trial of men. All right, you ain't supposed to praise no man before you hear him speak, but a nigga come with nice clothes and a nice suit, y'all ready to uh, give him your money. That's what the Christian church does. All right, and he could be talking some bullshit. And the majority of the time, if not all the time, they are talking some bullshit. If they're not telling you this truth, okay, they're gonna Esau's gonna use this Christian church to try to put you niggas back to sleep. All right, they they working on plans behind the scenes where you know that their, their, their sermons on on, on on these upcoming Sundays where you know you niggas is feeling all good in the church and it's Christmas time and around the holiday season they're gonna be telling you niggas that you know God loves everyone. They're gonna be pushing that John three sixteen heavy. All right, mainly amongst our people that you know uh, uh, everyone can be saved. All right, you know uh, love your brother. All right, uh, um, you know, they're going to be pushing, uh, uh, don't trespass against your neighbor. They're going to be saying all that. And, and our people are going to eat that shit up if, they, if the spirit of the Lord is not on you. All right. Um, so like I said, this is spirit of our people. Um, let me grab this. Isaiah, because uh, I had quoted this. Isaiah 8 and um, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if, I, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. These niggas don't got the light. All right. If they're not speaking according to this doctrine, if they're not telling you that you're Israelite, first and foremost, they're not telling you the names of the Heavenly Father are Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. There ain't no light in them. If they're not telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans that you're Israelites, all right, according to the Bible, according to the prophecies, all right, there's no light in them. Okay. If, if they're not telling you that the MOTB is the CHIP, there is no light in them, all right? They're not war warning you about Jacob's trouble. There's no light in these guys, all right? They're just there to sow confusion, okay? They're, they're, they're there to, you know, uh, um, as the scripture says, um, what does it say? Uh, here come the wicked one to take that what, that, that was sold, okay? That, that, you know, you may have obtained some knowledge and, and, and here comes a nigga that think he knows something, that read a few books, and, and now, you know, he going to tell you about this and tell you about this, and, you know, yeah, we was Israelites, but first we was Egyptians, and it's just a bunch of confusion. Hey, stay away from these people. Stay away from these niggas. They're not for you. They're not of you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? All right? Um, I want to grab that too, Ecclesiastes uh, 12. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. For, and further, by these, my son, be admonished, of making of making many books of making of many books there is no end but much study is weir weariness of the flesh the, the point is that making of many books is no end it's, it's, it's a lot of books out there that have information no doubt they have historical information that pertain to our people okay but you have to have spiritual discernment to 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 see what's bullshit or see where the author was just winging it and see what's truth okay because you got a lot of people out there on tiktok all right, that that's another snare to our people. TikTok, TikTok prophets. All right, that 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 say some sh you know say some truth, you know for the first minute, and the other three or four minutes is just bullshit. It's just shit that they just they just wing it. I've seen that. Okay, where, where they they they'll bring out some truth. They'll show you that all oh, the people in Europe were, were were dark skinned and this this and this, but they'll bring out some bullshit and say Alexander the Great was a was, was a Jake. All right, and that's bullshit. His father was Philip of Macedon. All right, and, and, and he was an Edomite. Okay, but um, 
Let me get one, one last script before I close out because there's a lot of false prophets and there's a lot of niggas out there that, that think they got the truth, but they, they have no clue. They have no clue what's going on. They have no clue what's going on geopolitically and how these nations are positioning themselves for this this world's war. All right, they're not, they don't understand that this devil is engineering or manu, uh, have, has a manufactured, manufactured famine that's about to take place. They ain't warning the people about this. These niggas just want uh, 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 some quick hits on, 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 on not even no scriptures. They just want to hear some 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 truth, and that's it. This, this truth is deeper than a, a, a two or three hour movie. This truth is deeper than a goddamn TikTok video. Okay, but it's, hey, it's nothing new under the sun, and, and this devil has done this before. He's he, he's you know he's trying to uh, uh, sow confusion. Okay, this is uh, Matthew seven and verse fifteen. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. All right. Hey, that that's 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 how this devil's gonna come, all right? And he's gonna use our people to do it. All right, Israelites, all right, they they come and, and, and Israelites that are in this truth. Okay, Jakes that know they're Israel, all right, Jakes that go out and, and, and teach this truth, where you know they may teach the truth, but Something's off about their doctrine. A lot, a lot of jakes out there that don't teach that the MOTB is the CHIP. All right, those are those ravenous wolves that, that are not going to spare the flock. All right, but they're false prophets. The Yahweh Shai said to beware of false, false prophets. All right, because we're living in the last days, and, and as we get closer and closer, closer and closer, the false prophets are, are going to increase. Okay, you're going to see more jakes out there that that's, that's, that you thought was a man of the Lord, but you're going to find out that he's a nigga that really didn't know nothing that was ultimately bought and paid for. All right. So be careful who you follow. All right. And if they're not coming in the name, all right, if they don't not tell you the MOTB is the CHIP, if they're not telling you that you're Israelites, all right, and, and, and telling you to repent, hey, don't follow them. All right. Get away from them. They're, they're, they're so in confusion. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Hashem HaRakakodash. Till next time I say Shalom.